watching this free video tutorial from mographplus.com. If you are interested in learning Arnold 5 for Cinema 40 fundamentally, please make sure to check out our ultimate introduction to Arnold 5 for Cinema 40 course, which is a massive 10 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Arnold 4 Cinema 40 thoroughly. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to mographplus.com. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an infinite floor or an infinite background look in Arnold for Cinema 4D. So this is the scene that you're having, as you can see, a bunch of geometries with some materials. And if I get out of this camera, let me just, you can see we have this basic uh, studio lighting setup, which is very simple and a camera, right? Also, we have this plane geometry, and if I just turn it up, we have this uh, backdrop as well that we are going to be using it later on. But for now, let me uh, hide the uh, backdrop as well and the plane as well and get back to the camera. Now, the first thing we need to do is to create a Cinema 4D background object. So let's add a background here. And now we need to create an oral shader network. Let me just rename it to BG for background and apply it to the background object that we have. Okay, now we have a simple background. And to control obviously the color of this background, we need to use something like a flat, sorry, that's what I'm doing, something like a flat shader. And now you can control the color and use any color that you might want, okay? In this case, let's use this color here. Okay, now that we have this background, what we need to do is to make sure that the plane object or the backdrop object are uh, shadow catchers. And the way to do it in Arnold for Cinema 4D is using a shadow match shader. So what I'm gonna do is to enable my plane geometry and let's create a new Arnold shader network. Let's me rename it to shadow mats. And in the shader network, let's press control tab and search for shadow mat shader. And now assign the shadow mat shader to the plane geometry. Now, as you can see, immediately uh, the plane becomes a shadow catcher. And if I go to the alpha, you can see we clearly have these beautiful shadows here. So that's how you simply create an infinite floor look in Arnold for Cinema 4D. And if I actually get out of the camera, you can see we truly have an infinite look. And if I just get a bit closer, you can see no limitation here. Okay. Now, if I get back to the camera, uh, the problem right now that we have, as you can see, this bottle that has a glass material applied to a see-through object, basically, is showing us this... Uh, kind of dark background and this is because our plane geometry that we had isn't behind this uh, particular object this see-through bottle object that we have here so what we need to do is to actually let me just hide the plane here and unhide this backdrop geometry that we have and uh, simply apply the shadow match shader to the backdrop instead of the plane in this case okay now this is amazing obviously now you can do a lot you can obviously go to the background shader that you have and control the color of your background with a solid color or you can use something like for example uh, a ramp RGB node and connect it to the color input of the flat shader and let's change the gradient type to something like circular and let's use this color and a lighter blue color. And as you can see, we probably need to actually invert this. That's better. Now, as you can see, we have this beautiful uh, infinite look. Now, if I get back to my shadow match shader again, uh, we can do a lot here as well. For example, if I go to the specular section, I can actually enable the indirect specular. But before this, one of the parameters that you actually need to change is this background type. Uh, it's sky or image plane. Obviously, in this case, we are not using an Arnold sky as our background. We are using an image plane, which is the Cinema 4D's background. So we need to change the background type to an image plane. And now if I actually enable the indirect specular, as you can see, we can actually 
uh, get some beautiful specular reflections from our objects on the floor. So in this case, I'm probably just going to increase the specular roughness, something like 0.4.5, something like this, just to see it a bit better. We can actually, uh, there you go. So as you can see, we get this nice, beautiful reflections. In this case, probably going to increase the specular roughness as well. If we wanted to have that uh, specular reflections, which in this case we don't. Okay, so for the final render, let me just go and make sure uh, I increase the samples for my lights. And in the render settings, let's increase our camera samples, something like five, our diffuse and specular samples to four and four. And transmission sample can be around three. Let me also add some SSS sample as this geometry has some subsurface scattering properties. So I'm gonna go to something like four. And yeah, that's good enough. Let me just stop the IPR and start the final render here. Okay, folks, so here is our final render and our beautiful infinite floor look created in Arnold for Cinema 4D. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Thanks for watching this free video tutorial from OGraphPlus.com. If you are interested in learning Arnold 5 for Cinema 4D fundamentally, please make sure to check out our ultimate introduction to Arnold 5 for Cinema 4D course, which is a massive 10 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Arnold 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly.